Hey, happy Saturday. Oi, one of my hairs. So, as you can see, we are once again stuffed to the fullest. Right, Mum? Oh, yeah. I can barely see you. <laughs> I'm around, molting now. So, yeah, we ate breakfast in the same thing as yesterday. Today, I just felt like my nose is a little bit clogged, which is no bueno. So, trust me, I'm wearing layers because it's feeling colder than it is. So, it's, it's snowing as well. So, we're doing some sightseeing today. I guess. So, let's just start the day before we die in here. This Saturday morning, we decided to walk to the Hungarian parliament building since we did see it at night on our night cruise we wanted to go by and look at it during the day but it was insanely windy this day like such a crazy wind the hungarian parliament building is also known as parliament of budapest it seats of the national assembly of hungary it's also like a notable landmark of Hungary and an extremely popular tourist destination. It was opened in 1904 and looking at it from the river, it looked huge, humongous. Because it was super windy, we decided let's just head in to a little cafe and either have like a coffee. I decided to do a matcha latte because we just needed to get away from this wind and found this super cute cafe called Smush. If you watched my travel vlogs before, you know that I love to walk around and explore the city that I travel to, both me and Yana does and my mom does as well. So we are just kind of walking around in Budapest in a different direction that we started with just to explore as much as we can. And we are heading to a, uh, a market hall and to see kind of what that looks like. The Great Market Hall Budapest is just one of those buildings that you walk into and wish that you had a painting of or a photography of because it was just stunning in itself. It was built in 1897 and it is huge. I would also say that they have anything that you can think of. They have fresh food, you can people watch, they're shopping. I took a lot of pictures. I would say both fresh food, they had different meats, vegetables, spices, a lot of paprika or peppers as some might say. So if you do go to Budapest, I do recommend going into one of these market halls. Great Market Hall is absolutely on the top of my list to, of recommendations for you to go, but there are several other ones as well, but definitely worth the trip.
Okay guys, so we're gonna eat some lunch. I haven't really been talking to the camera a lot today or on this trip, but we got some coffee, I got a cappuccino, and you had a latte with almond milk because mm -hmm. I don't have anything else. And then we're waiting for a cheese powder and a goulash soup. And we're sitting on these tiny <laughs> big chairs. Tiny <laughs> table. So yeah. There is that. Okay guys, we are back home and I want to show you guys the apartment that we are staying in. Excuse the shininess and this forehead and the outfit that I'm wearing right now because right now we're just chilling before we're going to get ready to go to dinner and it's pretty cold outside, okay? Besides the point, here is what the apartment looks like. I'm going to show you outside earlier because the outside hallway is really creepy. Um, but yes. There we have the entrance, some light. You get in, the first thing you see right in front of you is the bedroom. If you take to the right, right here, we have the toilet and a wash. The odd thing here is there is no mirror, which is really strange when you stand there. Um, I'm not gonna turn the light on because the fan is really loud. And next door is the shower and washing machine the shower is actually pretty nice it's a rainforest shower uh, and then you have here and it's a huge mirror which i love and it has like great lightning pretty big sink and a little bit of a trash can and a hair dryer so that is that the light is great here we have our jackets. There is also a mirror right here. I'm in my, um, what is this called? Long johns right now, because it's cold. So right here is the bedroom. We have the bed. We have two tiny uh, bed stands. And this is the wardrobe. So we just hung up all, oh, mom did actually. She just hung up all the, sweaters and wool and clothing that we're wearing here we have my suitcase mom's suitcase mom it's actually pretty hot on the floor right now next to the window uh -huh. so here you go yeah right next under the window it was pretty hot on the floor which was weird here we have mom on the couch chilling this is the couch this is the living room area the door is always open actually we have a little table situation. We bought some um, candle lights. Candles? Candle lights? Candles. Double it up. Uh, yeah, that's the couch. It's. I would not give this couch a 10 out of 10, but it's all right. A little bit of a lamp. Big carpet, which is great. There's the TV. I just moved it to the side a little bit. We have a living room table a dining table four chairs to the right we have the fridge the fridge is honestly fairly empty i just filled up that one to have cold water mom smoking stuff wine then you have like this big ass uh, kitchen cabinet situation it doesn't really have much in it here we have the kitchen a uh, this 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 wash dish washer wow sink the oven the stove microwave coffee machine uh oh my god a kettle water kettle, water kettle and a oh my god a toaster i was gonna say bread toaster <laughs> oh my god a toaster yeah so and there is a little oven right here or like a heating what is that called heating a radiator <laughs> that's true so all together that's the living I feel like it's a bit empty I feel like we could have had a few like something to have like a feet on when you're sitting on the couch or maybe a bigger table I like the table but it just awkwardly feels like there's way too much space 
If we walk over here, we have a balcony. And I'm not gonna get out there because it's cold. Mom just goes out there to smoke, but <laughs> we do have a, a balcony door. So yeah, I'm just gonna do this. And that is the apartment tour. Really quick wow. and easy apartment tour we have here. Uh, yeah, uh, it's not much, but it is everything that we need. Uh, I would honestly say, I think we're pretty okay, happy with the apartment. Absolutely. The location is very city center. So it's we've walked to everything pretty much, which has been great. And we like to do that when we do short trips. Um, but yeah. Having an apartment here is honestly as easy as we just go to the grocery store, get whatever you want for breakfast, we eat lunch and dinner out, and then we end up here eating snacks and drinking wine. So that's that. Then we're just gonna chill for a little bit and get ready. So I'll show you guys once we're dressed. Okay guys, I feel like I say that every time, but anyways, I just finished the makeup look for Tonight, I don't know what's happening here, but we did a lot of eyeshadow and we're doing different types of jewelry, these hoops, doing some rings on my fingers. I did my hair up a little higher, blush, and I'm doing the Kylie Mock Liquid Candy K with the lip liner. I just feel like when I do that, I just feel like my lips are a lot but it's cute. Anyways, I'm wearing this like long um, green wool dress because it's gonna be really windy and cold. So I'm afraid I'm just gonna blow away with this makeup on. Pardon? Mm -hmm. Ooh, Mom, you wanna show them what you're wearing today? Pink, green. Oh no, sorry. But yes, we are just gonna pack our bags and get ready to go to dinner. We have to go into this windstorm and I hope that my setting spray, primer, everything just kind of keeps this makeup here uh, or else we'll find it somewhere on the streets. <laughs> so see you guys when we're fully dressed. So for dinner this evening, I had already booked a table at this place because we are celebrating my mom's birthday. This was her birthday trip as well as our little like pre-Christmas trip. So, but the main purpose was honestly to just celebrate her birthday. So we went to this really nice restaurant and the food was amazing. I would say we had a great experience. Oh, <laughs> 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 
Hey guys, the dinner is over. Hello, girl. Are you happy? Yeah, very. Good, good. You finished. It was good. Yes, great food. And we're packed to head back. Head back out there in this stormy weather. Loving the bathroom. This is Hungary something dessert type of thing. They sell this everywhere and pie, pastry. Pa pastry. They pay for that. Yeah, and we decided to like buy one to try it out, but we're both really full, so um just leave it on the table. Yeah, just leave it there. Fine. Oh yeah, that's video in the one. Yeah, just leave it. Okay, we just finished dinner. Oh my mom. Oh my god, you're just taking out the flowers as well. But yeah, we just finished dinner. Birthday dinner. Mom's birthday dinner. And I gave her her gift, which was a pair of earrings that she's been wanting. And yeah, we bought that. Um, the dinner was really good. The place was great. My, amazing. Amazing. Uh, I definitely, amazing. obviously, recommend going there if you are in Budapest. And you're having like some kind of, if you want like a nice dinner type of situation, they had live music as well, which we probably didn't film because they were kind of behind the bar. But it was such a good I vibe. The happy birthday song. Yeah, just it for It wasn't you. for me. Oh. Somebody else. Somebody else. But as an overall, very, very happy with the food. And the price here is so great. I think we paid like... 56,000 hoof which wasn't really that much in kroner to be honest so it was fairly cheap for we had two main no, two starters appetizers and then two main courses we had two glasses of red wine each coffee baileys one coffee espresso each and with baileys next to it so and she got a birthday cake so i think the price as an overall was really good for the food that we got Location was perfect. The service was really great. So it gave that place a 10 out of 10. Awesome. I definitely recommend going to, to this place. Called? Collage. Collage. Yeah. Something, so, something, something, something. So, yeah, as an overall, great. It is Saturday night right now. I think it's like 9 o'clock. 9.30. 9.30? Oh, 9.30, probably the latest that we've been home so far. No? no. Ah. Yesterday was later, right? Ah, we yeah. Are I have like something going on in my nostril. Nostril? I'm not sure how I got this. How did I get this? I don't know. Might be the weather. Might be the weather. And also yesterday when we were eating dinner, I was kind of freezing the whole dinner because it was kind of cold. Yeah. But that's besides the point. We are going to be just relax have some wine. and have some wine. Try this dessert situation uh, if we are capable, a little bit at least. And yeah, and we leave to go back home tomorrow morning. So uh, I'm probably gonna just film snippets of us packing and whatever happens tomorrow. But that is Budapest for y'all. 
I hope you guys enjoyed Budapest vlog. It was 72 hours in Budapest or so. Uh, but yeah, it has definitely been great. We probably saw 10% of the city, yeah. maybe 20, maybe. Yeah. We didn't really get to see much. The boat trip was definitely a smart idea. The boat cruise and our walk today up to the parliament building as well as down to the food market or the food hall but anyways uh i'll definitely give you guys a little more chat maybe tomorrow before we leave for the airport our flight leaves at 11 a.m mom is currently pouring out the red wine which tasted not so good so we bought a different one so that's tonight anyways good night guys i'm gonna see you guys in the morning good night.